Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro here for another video on the mod Effortless Building for Minecraft. Uh, this time we're going to look at how to combine the mirror and the array modes to create a wall, okay? And that's kind of a basic principle, but actually it's harder than you think it is, or at least it'll expose some uh, things that you need to learn about uh, in using this mod, okay? So let's first of all start off by turning on the mirror mode and setting it to our current position here, okay? So uh, once we do that, it will lay out the, um, got markers here that'll show us the range, okay? Now we only have the x-axis on, so I'm going to turn the z on as well, and we'll see that it extends, you know, off in the z direction, which is north and south, and then the x direction, uh, which is east and west. Okay, and it is a length of 20, okay? But we have this mode here set to uh, set set the mirror to position of even number blocks. See, it's at odd number blocks right now, and that adds a 0. 0.5 to each of the numbers. So although this says that it's 20, it's 20 plus one because of the center one here. So each way is the center and 20, and so a total of 41. Okay, so it's 41 in both X and Y, all right? Now, let's look at how that, you know, if like I place a block right here, okay? Or let's do it in the, in the center. All right, if I place a block there in the center, because I have my array mode selected and I have everything zeroed out here, the count doesn't matter right now because everything is zeroed out here, okay? And I place that right in the middle, that places one block. Now, if I offset by one here, okay, from the center, then it'll place two blocks, okay? But I haven't yet offset in the uh, X direction. That was just along the Z axis, okay? I offset along the X like so and along the Z and notice it's where my cursor is where where I'm looking then it'll create four of them okay because of that so it's it's offsetting from the center by the distance that I'm going and of course that could you know continues out as far as I go all right so if we were to go to the very edge of this setup here okay and you know we could kind of visually align it up but the thing is, is that the way you could really tell if you're aligned, as soon as that block off in the distance, see the white block in the distance disappears, then we're out of that range. And that's, that's the same for this way. So if we go this way and it disappears, come one in. So it's this one. Okay. And then we look up and we make that one disappear. Then it's that one. Okay. So should be this block right here. Yes. So that's the block on the corners. Now notice it's doing all four because that's an offset. Okay, so if we were going to build a wall, we could just, you know, go through and stack them up like so and just go along the edges like this. And you'll do a lot of building like this in this mirror mode, in this array mode, the combination. Uh, you could use like a builder's wand or whatever and extend this out. Uh, but we're going to do it a different way. We're going to do it where we do actually add parameters and use the count number here okay but that becomes a little bit more complex all right so let's look at how that works like all right so if i go in and i offset uh on the z axis toward the north which uh, north is negative and south is positive right so like you can see that in your f3 i've got it up on the screen now uh here's the actual f3 and then th this is a mod called mini hud and i've just shown that part then that same key bind terms by uh, one probe on and off. Okay, so we're going to extend to the north. All right. So if I go into the center, deal right there, and I place, then it's going to place a one in the center, okay, and five more to the pot or to the negative Z toward the north. Okay. So it places the block and five more. All right. And if I delete this block, it'll go out. Now, of course, if I move anywhere here along the x-axis, then it'll mirror those, right? Now, if I move this way, if I move to, toward the positive Z, towards the south, and let's just go to the center one so it's a little bit easier to see. Now, it places that one where I place the block at an offset, 
and then it places the uh, mirror block on the other offset, okay, and adds the five to it like you would expect. But it's kind of strange because, see, there's this one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one in the six. And then this guy is offset. Here it's offset. Uh, there's the center. So one, two, three, four is what it's offset. Here it's offset one, two, three, and four. See? So the offset's the same. It's an offset of four, but it uh, that's left that space to it. But that's what it's doing. It's laying the block and then laying the five more. Okay? So if I have the offset closer, that's where it gets confusing because you wouldn't really even see that there was an offset to it. It would just be a straight line. Okay? But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. So it wouldn't be the full number of blocks. Normally it would be 12 blocks at its max. Okay, that seems fine until you, you know, start to get out here and look and then what happens, okay, is it places the block, but then it goes all the way to the end. This is like at the end of our range here, okay? So we placed it and it goes almost to the end of the next one the actual end is well it did it actually line with the end and overlaps it okay so that's just kind of odd for for us to understand but we can see that this would start at the end which means that our next one would start at the end which means it would go over okay so that becomes a little bit weird if you're wanting to make a wall Okay, so a wall, for instance, now we know this guy is 20 and 20 and 1, so it's 41. So we really want to match the length of our wall here with this. So we would want to go 20, okay, for it to match, and then we do 1 in the Z direction. Now, we would want to go to the edge of uh, the area to where we are uh, positive Z or negative Z going north, would uh, fill the wall right okay so let's find our edge now look that you know when i'm outside i don't see the mirror block because it's it's outside of my range so i need to move it just inside the range that's right there and then to where it overlaps so it's right here is where we go so if i place it i'm on the edge right and it goes into the center there it lines with the center but it puts this guy here we we don't want that we want them to match up so it turns out that you've kind of got to do it in four different uh, measurements, essentially four different placements. So what you want to do is instead of doing both X and Z, since we're wanting the wall to this part of the wall to be along the X, Z axis, I mean, we're going to turn off that Z and just use the opposite axis because the wall is perpendicular to us. Okay. Our, our measurement's going to be perpendicular to us. So, this is what we need to do. We need to go in and we're going to place it there. So that places the first segment. And this aligns with the center point. Okay. So that's 20 right there. Uh, 21 because we added the one that we placed. So to get an additional 20, we need to go ahead and, and eliminate this one and then place. Because again, it's going to place that block and 20 more. So that's going to give us the 21 that we need which will get us to the edge of the wall there, okay? So you basically need to do it in two segments. You're dividing in in half, and then you do that by setting the count to be the same and then working along the perpendicular axis, okay? Only the perpendicular. Then we can just go ahead and build it up to, you know, whatever height we wanted. And then in the center here, we need to do the same thing and just break that first section and place up, okay? Just like that. Now, for us to do the other side of the wall, then we basically just do the same thing except along the opposite axis. So keep our 20 count. And now we're going to be placing the wall toward the east, which is the positive X. Uh, again, I'll show that there. That's positive X. East is. Okay. Get off. And uh, so we're going to want to go ahead and zero this out and then push this into the positive x all right and then we're going to change it to be mirrored along the z axis so see it's mirrored now along the z 
the, the perpendicular to where we're looking. So we need to go ahead and eliminate this first one, just like we did in the other side, and place it. All right, and it'll align with the center. I don't know why I'm having trouble getting flight, but okay. Uh, it'll align in the center there, and then we take out the other one, and bam. And so it'll perfectly align along that wall. All right, that's what we want. So we just do it as we did before, just in two segments again. And we can, of course, go, go ahead and build it up to our height that we want. Now notice that if I like take this and break it, it'll break the whole segment. Uh, but here, down here, it won't. Okay. So we want to break those three and then we want to just build up. Boom. All right. So now we got our total wall and it's, it's a perfect wall, square, uh, as fits inside this area. Then, of course, we could just easily go through and decorate it to something else if we wanted. You know, now that we understood the principle. So, for instance, we could go in and fill it with uh, fences. Okay, so, you know, just go along. Go to our area here. We do want to break out those last two fences. And there we go. That'll get along the edge. Okay, now we need to change our direction here. To be along the X and then zero that guy out and make the, it a negative one. Break these two here and there. Okay. And same deal. There and there, and there, and there. So that's building a pretty big wall quite fast and then decorating it a bit. Uh, we could go ahead and just do one more level of decoration. This is just all kind of examples of things you can do um, by dividing this count uh, in half. Okay, so we'll make it 10 and then we'll go, uh, we're, we're at X now, so I'll go ahead and zero this guy back out and make that positive and we'll do 10 and we'll make the count two. Okay, so it'll go every other one and then of course we need to swap those. And so we could use a wall for instance and do it every other one, like such, okay? And so that ought to work out. Now we'll probably get an overlap here on the end. Believe that we will, yeah. Not a problem, you just go ahead and delete that. So now that's got a, you know, like alternating pattern to it. A little bit more complex, a little bit more interesting. And then of course we could easily do the same thing on the other axis, uh, just by swapping these around. Uh, zeroing that out and then making this one negative two starting here like such and then go to the center one eliminate it we will get an overlap uh, just because the nature of the one and we had an overlap that we just deleted the single one so it this one remained floating probably have a floater down here uh, yes we do and I don't think we do down on the other side no but there you go, guys. That's how you make a pretty interesting wall. Now, of course, you could do insets inside of it and bridge them together and do lighting and stuff. And we may do that in future episodes, uh, you know, as I get a little bit more comfortable with this. But right now we're trying to just develop some basic principles that let us know how this guy works. Now, my first videos go into a little bit more explanation of the interface. But this is an excellent mod and it is truly effortless building once you understand how it works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and this is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching guys. Like, subscribe, and join the tribe. Thank you very much and bye-bye.